Imagine this scenario. Two neighbors are sitting in their living room watching the news. One of the neighbors is a supporter of the American weapon industry, the other one is strictly hostile to its guns. They're both watching the same neutral media report, but then something weird happens. Contrary to the actual truth, they both think the report was less sympathetic to their side and more sympathetic to the opposing side. This phenomenon is called the hostile media effect. It generally means that supporters of a certain position on an issue tend to consider reporting on that issue as unfair and interpret it as biased against their position, although the majority of recipients perceive the reporting as appropriate and balanced. But the effect doesn't always occur. There are two main conditions for the occurrence of the hostile media effect. First, it has to be a controversial issue that is important for the recipient. And secondly, it has to be in the context of the mass media, and the recipient has to be aware that a huge audience is being reached. Given these conditions, how can the effect be explained? The hostile media effect actually is a special form of another psychological phenomenon, the confirmation bias. The confirmation bias means the tendency of selecting and interpreting information conformably to your own opinion, while conflicting information is being neglected or reinterpreted. In this regard, three cognitive mechanisms are of major significance when trying to understand the hostile media effect. The first mechanism is selective recall. Selective recall means that conflicting information to your own opinion is more salient than compliant information and therefore is easier to remember. The result? A biased image. The second mechanism is different standards. Everyone has different standards regarding everything. Same with information. Even though recipients receive the same information, that doesn't mean they have the same opinion concerning admissibility of that information. And the third mechanism is selective categorization. This means that not only contrary information, but even neutral information is being construed as opposing by the recipient. Just like the motto, anyone who's not with me is against me. Since we now know how the effect works, is there anything we can do to counteract it? One proven possibility would be the participation of different representatives of the interest groups in the media coverage. But sometimes that can be easier said than done. Can you think of other ways to counteract the hostile media effect? If so, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching.